Wildlife data shows a record number of 98 manatees were killed by speeding watercraft last year. No one wants to see these gentle giants suffer. That's why Florida Hospital was pleased to team up with SeaWorld veterinarians to save Tom, a manatee SeaWorld rescued in April. To find out the real source of this big boy's breathing problem, SeaWorld vets brought the manatee they named Tom to Florida Hospital Celebration Health. He was found in the wild, floating on his side, a strong indicator of lung injury. When we took x-rays, we found that he had a really severe pneumothorax. Uh, that's when we have air that's outside of the lungs, in free in the chest cavity. And that'll cause a manatee to, uh, to float at the surface, so they're unable to dive. In addition to the pressure on his lungs, Tom couldn't dive to eat seagrass, and he was in jeopardy of other boats slicing across his back. Those white spots on his back are healed gashes from a boat's propeller. After four attempts to relieve the pressure on the manatee's lung, SeaWorld vets asked experts at Florida Hospital to help them get a clearer picture of what's going on. Celebration Health's 256-slice CT scanner is one of the largest in Central Florida, accommodating bodies up to 550 pounds. It's just about the only place Tom could get a scan like this. God's creatures, they're very precious and dear to our hearts, and we really appreciate um, uh, our community coming together to help out our environment and our wildlife friends. Care for him much quicker and hopefully rehabilitate him faster and get him back out to his natural environment. And that's the goal we always have here at SeaWorld, and along with Florida Hospital, we're going to make that goal happen. We already have good news. Tom didn't have a tear in his lung, and he's responding well to treatment. To follow Tom's progress, go to SeaWorldCares.com. I'm Barbara West.